surprise! I'm in London! Hi guys and oh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexia and this week I'm in London so I'm going to be picking up the camera and just filming anything exciting or anything fun that I get up to. It was a very last minute trip. We literally booked the tickets the day before and I had only 24 hours to pack my bag, but I'm here and I'm really, really looking forward to this next week. Also, you probably all recognize this room and this desk setup. Oh, my new video, guys, go watch it, go watch it. It's up. I'm actually really happy about it. I think it's a really good one. Hopefully you'll like it. It's all about getting back into productive routine. So if you're struggling with getting your work done, then hopefully this video will inspire you and help you and motivate you to do some work. We are just getting ready now to head out. We're heading to the British Museum for a little bit of a cultural evening. Yeah. Oh, Karma Medic Biker Edition. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of my new clothes? I got a new jacket and a new hoodie. I basically buy clothes once a year, and even then it's really difficult to get me out of the house to do some shopping, so I need Alexia by my side, and she helped me choose a bunch of clothes, which hopefully you guys like. If not, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments down below. This is in your video. There will be no comments about you. <laughs> Have you told them where we're going? Yeah, we're going to the British Museum. We're going to the British Museum. We're already 15 minutes late, as per usual. Are we actually? I'm excited to see the Rosetta Stone. What are you excited to see? I'm excited to see you see the rose of us. <laughs> Should we get going? Before it's too late? Yeah. Alright, are you taking the camera with you? Maybe. taking pictures so very happy I've just carried this heavy camera around for no reason <laughs> should I take my camera or should I film on my phone because my camera's gonna uh, be heavy are you not taking a bag anyway I am taking a bag then yeah take your camera it's really cool I love that for me person I know who will have ice cream in the middle of winter. Because I don't know otherwise. The temperature is completely irrelevant. If you feel like having ice cream, you feel like having ice cream. Meanwhile, I'm having a nice warm cow macchiato. <laughs> People can see me. But you just have to not care. Because the truth is no one cares about you. I feel like you always think that people are looking at you and they probably are for like two seconds, but then you're never gonna see them again. So you do you and that's it. <laughs> I completely agree. If you own it, no, nobody actually cares about what you're doing. Just focus on yourself, do your own thing. Plus you look more lame if you're trying to hide it than if you just own it, right? That's very true, yeah. Yeah, just gonna walk home, maybe take some cheeky pics. doing i wanted to ask you a question does anyone have any good recommendations for a good face mask so currently i use the what are they called like the surgical masks let me show you what i'm talking about this one <laughs> uh which is really good for places that you need high protection so when i was on the airplane or when i'm traveling with a tube or just Anywhere where I know there is a lot of people and it's an indoor space, I'm very happy to use these because I feel like they are the most protective and I can really easily like seal them across my entire face. But I wanted to find a nice cloth mask that isn't really harsh on your skin because we're wearing masks so many hours a day and I feel like sometimes they kind of irritate your skin. So I want to find one that's like a good material, has a nice design um, and is made out of cloth. So. If you know of any, please drop me a comment down below. Anyways, that's the main reason why I turn on the camera and just, you know, to start the next day's vlog. Nasser is at the hospital, not because he's injured, but for a class or for whatever medicine students do. So I am home alone. It's really miserable out. It's raining since the morning. 
So I think I'm going to use this day to actually be productive as well. I think I'm going to just work on my next application today until he gets back and then I'm sure we'll do something fun. Also, no one asked, but in case you care, I got this cropped hoodie a few days ago. And underneath that, I'm wearing a little set. These are leggings and then it has a little top. Sets are really in right now and they're just really easy to throw on and they make you feel very put together because obviously everything is matching. Just wanted to share two things with you. It feels so weird to say that because I generally don't know if anyone cares. I'm gonna have this little shot. It's called a defense shot with apple, cucumber, pineapple and spinach. I had a ginger one yesterday, which really wasn't that bad. And the second thing I wanted to show you is that the video that I uploaded, when was it, yesterday, is number one. Wait, can you see that? There. Which is very exciting. Thanks to all of you for supporting me and for watching my videos. sunny in London which if you live here you know is rare it's the first day it's been sunny since I've been here so we're going to take full advantage of it and head on a little walk to Little Venice which is an area that we wanted to go to for a while yeah just looking forward to seeing something new and I think I'll take my camera with me and film cool stuff for you guys you won't believe what happened we were walking around Little Venice and onto Paddington and we came across the square that I used to work at. In third year of university, when I was at the University of Bath, we had a placement here and I worked at Vodafone in London and we got to the square where the office is at and I was showing an answer and I think it's really cool to reminisce. So let me show you guys. So this here with all these skyscrapers was where I worked. Mine was right in there and then over here was a Starbucks I used to have my excuse me <laughs> my morning coffee at it's just really weird to be back here so many later so many years later so many later still unemployed um, <laughs> just hopefully next time i come i'm a lawyer and i feel better about myself to Hyde Park. Yay! I'm very excited to see the squirrels. No matter how many times I see them, it excites me. That's probably because I love all animals, I swear. Even the mice on the tube make me happy. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy the sunny walk. Right now it's cloudy, but it is sunny. Trust me. And maybe find somewhere to eat after. Just having a nice leisurely walk. We actually walked quite a bit all the way from Little Venice to Hyde Park and now we're gonna walk through it and see where we're gonna go for lunch. But really enjoying these laid-back days where we don't have too much of a plan and we're a bit more relaxed because usually Nasser is the one <laughs> that likes to get up super early and be productive and efficient every single second of the day. But this trip it's actually been me waking up earlier and wanting to get the day started but that's only because I'm here for a few days and I want to make the most out of them. Oh also I got recognized earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was nicer. Still so weird to have people come up to you, but it's really cool. I honestly think that one of the coolest things about this is just getting to interact with people and sharing your life. And I think that's really what anyway motivated me to start my channel is just the idea of sharing my life with other people and I guess making friends from all over the world and stuff like that. I think it's really cool to have an audience that relates to you or cares about what you have to say and build a little community. totally forgot to mention something really cool and interesting that happened to us earlier so as you will have seen we went on a walk to Hyde Park and that made us really hungry so we were thinking about where to have lunch and I was really craving bao buns and Nasser had never had them before so I google what the best place is and this place called Bao Soho came up so we walked there and as we are waiting to be seated I'm just like looking around at the people sitting there and I see this woman this girl I'm like oh she looks familiar so I turn around to Nasser and I'm like doesn't she remind you of and he finishes my sentence saying Marianne Marianne from normal people the actress's real name is Daisy Edgar Jones 
and I was like yeah it's exactly what I was gonna say like how did you know and he's like yeah it looks really similar you know what I think it's her and I kept looking at her and I was like oh my god it is her so we start having very small internal freakouts because we were literally just watching the show we've been obsessed with it eventually I mustered up the courage and I was like you know what this is my only opportunity to speak to her I'm probably obviously never gonna see her again so I just went up to her and I was like, hi, are you by any chance Daisy? I told her that we were watching the show and that we were really enjoying it. Nastra was a bit embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, we just had a little small chat, but it was just so cool. She seemed very normal, very down to earth. I'm so happy I did it. I feel like I would have regretted it after if I hadn't done it. Just wanted to update you and now back to the vlog. Just submitted an app and Nasser also finished his exam. So we're gonna celebrate by going to grab a quick lunch and just chill for a bit. Also, I've been craving salmon. I think I'm gonna get one of those big bowls with rice and veggies and salmon, maybe like a healthy juice or a matcha or something like that. Morning. I just wanna find something to balance you on. Maybe, maybe these medicine books. Put them right here so that you can see me. Does that sound good? I mean, I guess you can't answer, so we'll find out <laughs> when this video is up. Good morning, how's it all going? <laughs> we are going to head out in a little bit to do, run some errands, so I just thought I'd do a little getting ready with me segment and just chat to you about life. <laughs> so, last night we ended up having a very chill evening we just stayed home we made some pasta and watched our show we are currently watching what's it called it's called the night of it's really good i mentioned that we were going to run some errands today so first i'm going to return some clothes that i bought that are way too small for me but after that we're going to go to fornham and mason to get some hot chocolate for my dad also i think nasser wants to head to the apple store because apparently it's the first day that the iphone 12 is being sold in stores what i wanted to rant about is that some people just don't wear masks and it baffles me everyone knows that if you're wearing a mask and the other person is wearing a mask the chances of contracting coronavirus are so 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 slim because you're obviously both well protected. So the fact that some people are in the tube not wearing a mask or just wearing it but not covering their nose is crazy. Obviously, as soon as I walk into the tube and see someone not wearing a mask, it makes me want to go to the next carriage because I just don't want to risk my life, you know? And especially because after this trip, I'm gonna be heading back home to my parents. I, you know, obviously don't want to risk them getting coronavirus either. So oh, I totally forgot to mention. Uh, I extended my trip. So initially I was supposed to leave this Sunday, but Nasser found out that he doesn't need to be in Dartford for the whole week. He can leave on Wednesday. So I'm staying an extra week. Very excited about that. So I think that's really all that's happening in my life. Honestly, there isn't even much point of doing your makeup seeing as you're wearing a mask. So other than your eyes, no one can see anything anyways. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll have to do for now. So two really big things happened so the bad news is yesterday we had gone out for dinner and on the way back we were in the elevator with two of our friends and suddenly the elevator stopped we don't know why because no one did anything weird but it just stopped and it started saying out of service of course we immediately just pulled out our phones and tried to get a hold of some of our other friends and unfortunately there was no signal nothing not even one bar not even just literally no signal and that's i think when we all started to freak out a bit by the way we are four people in a tiny elevator so we started thinking about what we can do and basically there was like a little alarm bell hopefully if we ring it for long enough then someone in the building will hear us i think about 10 minutes later finally someone happened to be coming into the building and heard this like alarm noise and we explained the situation at the same time we were literally standing in the elevator with our phones up towards the air to hopefully get a little bit of signal and somehow miraculously <laughs> one of our friends got signal for like a millisecond and managed to send a message to our friend who also lives in that building 
saying stuck in elevator help 999 so he calls 999 the, and the fire department comes to the rescue and uh, at the same time the lady that has heard us has also called an engineer so we have an engineer coming and the fire department at this point it's really hot we're getting kind of panicky because we weren't sure what was happening obviously you're being suspended in the air in a metal box like it's not ideal and we're just trying to keep each other calm by talking about like oh like the bones we've broken in our bodies and just like silly stuff to try and not think about the fact that we're stuck in an elevator and we don't know when we're gonna get out anyway eventually the fire department comes and they you know tell us not to worry that they're gonna get us out but it actually took them a really really long time so they didn't have the right key or something to open the door so they were just like banging around and it was very very horrible they really weren't sure how to fix the problem they were on the phone with their engineer and they were saying oh we see a green button should we press it anyway long story short eventually two hours later they managed to get us out because an another engineer came to the building and he had this like magic key and they finally cracked open the doors they pulled us out through the gap that there was and then obviously on the way home took the stairs so that was the bad news <laughs> now i'm going to add some good news i told them again about the elevator situation oh my night. god what a nightmare <laughs> right what a nightmare yeah i explained everything tragedy. anyways so to balance out this bad news let me show you my good news Ta -da! So this here is the iPhone 12, which is a massive upgrade because previously I had the iPhone 7. So very happy to have upgraded to the 12. For now, I've gone for the white iPhone 12. Um, and I think I have two weeks to play around with it and return it if I prefer a different one. I think I'm gonna stick with the white because also it goes with a lot of cases. Right now I have the green case, this like forest green or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. But I also really like the dark blue navy one. So I think I might get the navy one. I think it'll suit you better if I'm honest. Yeah. Also, but you should go have a look at them in first. Yeah. Also, blue is my favorite color. So. <laughs> so I have an iPhone 8. So both me and Alexia have the same size and dimensions iPhone. So an upgrade to something like this is amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to get mine. But I want to get the 12 Pro Max, which comes out in November, early November. I think that's all the updates for now. All right. Nasser has officially left for Dartford. I dropped him off at his friend's car. It feels like he's my child and I'm the proud mom and he's going to school on his first day. It feels kind of strange being in this room alone, but it's okay. He's only gone for a few days. He's literally back in like less than three days and I have so much to be doing. For now, I'm just going to have a chill evening and unwind because it's been a little bit of a hectic day with all the packing. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the good things. I was so, so, so happy to see you guys like my last video. It's still actually number one out of my last nine videos. Like on YouTube Studio, you can see how well it's doing in comparison to your other videos and it's still number one. So really happy you guys liked it. I'm already really excited to edit this video and upload it. So hopefully you guys also like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, just finished with the... I don't even know what to say. Obviously we're wearing fat... Ah, why can't I speak? Cheers. You can't say it with coffee. Yeah, you can. You can cheers with anything except water. Why am I waving? <laughs>